foundation of my life. Integrity is the principal quality and the foremost value. Integrity is doing things right, standing high, not taking or trying to, to hear. I'm saying now I got a degree. You don't want even to begin at the bottom of the ladder. You want to be the president. You want to be the director. You want to be the chief accountant. Ah, uh -uh. Character says, begin from the bottom up. Amen? Amen. Shout it. I have always tried to live my life within the highest of values and have never intentionally tried to do wrong to anybody. That is character. In your profession life, you be frustrated with others who do not have the same. Be surrounded by strong people and the people that are not only yes people. Recognize all one in Christ Jesus. Galatians 3 verse 28. Also in Proverbs 11 verse 3. The integrity of the upright guides them, but the unfaithful are destroyed by, by their duplicity. Life hard. Spend time with your family members. Spend time with your friends. Spend time with your baby, your spouse. Don't work. Don't work in Zambia, in Africa, in the entire world. You are listening to a Tanzanian boy. I worked hard. I told my God, I want to be the best. And I became the best in the Adventist Church. From the village of Tanzania, I climbed and climbed until I came to the world headquarters of the Seventh-day Adventist. Can you imagine an African boy walking in the corridors of power in the Seventh-day Adventist Church? You can make it. May I be the inspiration to you. If we can Uganda made it, I can make it. Don't, don't let your background define who. Even the corridors of the United Nations. I can see presidents here. I can see governors here. I can see, I see everybody here. in an office of work with passion whether you are a teacher teach with passion whatever you do do it learn to listen number seven don't lose sight of the small things they say a lot about character and integrity and the small things do add up become a big issue number eight Delegate, people come back to you. Delegate and verify. Number nine, life can be cruel. You are going to be surrounded by cruel, ah, oh my goodness, cruel colleagues in that office, in that school, in that organization. Your boss may be cruel. Your secretary in Africa needs a new breed of you. People who say corruption, no. From Cape Town to Cairo, from Congo to Zanzibar, the world of Africa needs men and women like you who are seated here today. Don't let us... You are... Listen, listen, listen to me, listen to me, listen to me. You are a child of God. You are somebody. You are a graduate of Rusangu University. Can you say, sorry, say a, a graduate of Rusangu University? Ah, uh, you got it. You got it? Yeah. Say, be holy, be healthy, be happy. That's all. I've told you my wife. I said, my wife, look at you. Look, look in my eyes. I said, uh -huh. I said, look, two things. I want to love you. You have done it well. You have made your families and your friends proud. And I wish you all the success in the world. You have been given at Rusang University and you will willfully result. 
you make enemies, but God will bless you. You confuse some people, but God will bless you. You chase away some people because of their integrity, but God will bless you. Oh, stand tall. Congratulations, class of 2018. Thank you very much, Dr. Barack Mganda. May we please give him another round of applause. I think somehow I've gotten accustomed to long speeches so that I didn't realize actually he was done. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, without taking much time, allow me at this time to uh, call upon our University Council Chairperson, and this is no other than Dr. Harrington Akomwa for the benediction.